Job wise, I want to get into medical assisting school. Should I do the nine month certificate or should I do the two year AA program for medical assisting? What do you think? Here we go, here we go, here we go, right? Another good question. This answer is based on my opinion, my experience in life and what I've been through, how I understand things, okay? Before I start with you, I've been a medical assistant many years ago for seven years. I now have a BA degree in city planning and a master's in economics, so I've done both sides of the table, tech school and also formal college education, okay? My recommendation to you is not to go through the two-year program for medical assisting. The reason why is because of this. It's a very focused AA degree. It's an AA degree in medical assisting. Yes, you'll pick up some English and some math and so on and so forth, right? But it is just a solely focused degree for medical assisting, which puts you in kind of a pigeonhole box, right? Why do I say this? Because after my third or fourth year of medical assisting, I said, you know what? Great career for many people, but not for me, okay? 61% of MAs are not MAs for life. After their fourth year or 48 months of being medical assistants, they're looking for other careers. Why is this? For a number of reasons, you know? But that's the, the facts of, of the matter, is that they look for other careers after the fourth year as a medical assistant. So, I want you to do instead is invest that nine months into the MA school and then become an MA that way. But two years is just too long for medical assisting. I think it's going to be uh, more of a financial burden for you, kind of heavy for you. And it doesn't make any sense because what's going to happen is that if you're part of that 61% who wants to go on with their education, right? Say you say, mm, you know, I think I'll be a nurse now, or you go through the bridge, the bridge program, or even like me, become a city planner, right? There are some classes you took as a medical assistant that might transfer over into a college, right? They might go into the freshman year of college, but because if your school for per se doesn't have the right kind of accreditation, then that four year school you're trying to get into will not take anything you've earned as a two year medical assistant. So you'd have to essentially start all over again. Yeah, right from the beginning, start all over again to get your new career in medical assisting. So what I always tell people when this question comes up to me, I always tell them, do not do the two-year medical assisting uh, career. It doesn't make any sense, okay? And the reason why is because even when you go in front of myself, who might, who might hire you, right? Many of you guys know I've, I've hired people all across the nation for different jobs, different career fields. I'm always on those boards, you know? So if you're person A, your medical assistant A, you have your nine-month education, and I have person B who has a good two-year medical assisting education, most of your interviewers are not going to care about nine months versus two months, uh, two years. doesn't matter. It has zero relevance. Also, if the nine-month MA has one year of experience, you have zero, and you think, oh, it's going to be my advantage. It's not. Because with medical assisting, with a lot of your tech trades, the experience is what's going to matter. The experience is what makes you, you, right? If you come in there with three years MA experience versus a guy with a, a, a two-year medical assisting degree, that's all great. You know, two years is great. It's a great dedication. It shows great focus, tenacity, fortitude. That's fantastic. But what it doesn't show is the experience. And so nine times out of 10, that panel is going to hire the nine-month with experience medical assistant. You understand? Another thing to you guys, I don't want you coming out of these tech schools or any kind of school being financially burdened, right? Um, nine months is enough to learn enough skills you got to have as a medical assistant. Because here's the real deal. Whatever you learn in that school, you might use about 30% of it in actual reality, in actual life. So what does that mean? It means the computer system you use might be different. The way you talk to the nurses and your other colleagues or MAs and doctors is going to be different. Policies, procedures, all of that is not going to be anything like the school you learn in school, okay? Because it's not their fault. The school gives you the tools to get you through that open door to become a medical assistant. The rest you got to learn on the job, okay? So there is no advantage, advantage to being a nine-month MA versus a two-year MA. 
Personally, I feel they should close those two-year MA schools down because it's really doing you more of a disservice. Because again, if 61% of a career field after the fourth year goes off to another career, right? Then that's, oh my gosh, that's almost two thirds are going somewhere else. But if many of those people in the two thirds have that two year career, right? That two year degree, they're paying a lot more money than they did say the nine month person, right? So you have this heavy investment of two years of medical assisting and you gotta pay that money back. You know, it becomes a burden right on your back. You gotta carry it around with you. I'd rather you have that nine month burden financially, right? Versus two years. So from job Y, oh, hang on. First of all, please subscribe to my channel. I always forget that, you know? I have 88% of people look at my stuff, write notes, say hello, and don't subscribe. But only 12 of you do subscribe. So thank you for the 12% who do subscribe. These videos take time and I already have a career, but I do this because I love it, okay? So please subscribe. So you guys, this is my opinion only. I do not think it's beneficial to get a two-year MA degree because it's not going to help you out when it comes to the hiring process. I've been doing hiring and interview boards for over 20 years. Firefighter, police, medical assistant, so on and so forth, right? In these medical assistant jobs, and the, the two-year MA gives you zero advantage in my experience. I've only interviewed maybe 10,000 people, right? <laughs> so what do I know? <laughs> but I know enough to know that I do not want to give you guys a bad message or to mislead you. So I'd rather you guys just go for the nine month MA uh, certificate. Do not do the two year deal. It's not worth it, okay? That's it for today, guys. I wanna tell you, thank you for supporting my channel. I really do appreciate it. You guys have a great day. Take care, bye-bye.